Yeah, he's probably, he's probably mad that he missed it. But what the young guys should do is take advice from the older guys. Seek one of the older guys out. When I came to my first All-Star game, I saw Kareem out to ask Kareem, how do I handle my career? How do I go about being a champion? The one thing that Kareem told me when I first came into the league as a rookie was Isaiah, stay grounded and stay humble. And that was the best advice that I ever got in an All-Star game. Eddie Jones slices through. Jones. 13 for him. The guy that was my mentor coming up, Glenn Rice, was Steve Jones. Steve He's now in the cyberspace. The snapper. Absolutely. Steve Smith gets the basket on the follow. So Isaiah, who's your pick for MVP? Michael Jordan. It, it, it has to be Jordan. His team won. He's the leading scorer. And this is what the young players got to learn. Even though you come out and you put on the show and you entertain the fans, the bottom line is you still have to win and you got to win championship to be considered one of the greatest ever. A rainbow three from Glenn Rice. But Jordan came out and set the tempo early. The first drive in the middle, get the team off to the lead, hit the jumpers, while all the hype and everything and the spectacular plays went to Kobe. Michael leading the team to victory with the discipline, with the fundamentals, which, which and the conditioning. I think the conditioning of Jordan is so often overlooked. He works so hard at being at the top. Uh, Eddie Jones with it. As we play out the final seconds, Van Exel, an unguarded three, way off. Kemp firing ahead for Smith. He'll take it. Now, Let both of those guys play every summer against each other at St. Cecilia Recreation League. Kevin Garnett missing, but considering it's just the final seconds of an All-Star game, he can say, as he does in those commercials, that it was tastefully done. And if I'm all these young guys right now, knowing that this may be Michael Jordan's last game, I'm running to ask him for his gym shoes and will he sign them for me? Go for the jersey, forget the shoes. Kobe over to congratulate Michael. He's looking for him. There they are. And this may be as close to a torch passing as we'll see. There's always the possibility that the Lakers and Bulls could be in the finals. But this might be the last time we see Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan on the floor at the same time. The teams have played their two regular season games already. They split them. The Bulls won in Chicago. Lakers won last week at the Forum. And if they don't meet in the finals, and if, despite everyone's pleas to the contrary, this is it for Michael Jordan, then this is where the torch was passed. All right, it is now time to make the presentation for this year's All-Star Game Most Valuable Player. And to make that presentation, here's the Commissioner of the NBA, Mr. David Stern. He gave us a quadruple double. Hi, Stearns. We love Thank you. <laughs> There's one star who is the star of stars tonight amongst the greatest athletes in the world. I'm only going to allow him to have his trophy if he promises to come back and do it again. <laughs> the all-star of all-stars, the MVP, Michael Jordan. And to help me make the presentation, I'm going to ask Jack Greenberg, the chairman and CEO of McDonald's USA, to say a few words. Well, Michael, as the proud sponsor of uh, the NBA All-Star Balloting this year again, it is McDonald's great pleasure to award you the McDonald's MVP award. You are fantastic. On behalf of all the owner-operators across America of McDonald's, we say congratulations. This really makes a great deal of sense. You have been such a great friend and role model for McDonald's, for the sport, and the country. We love you, and congratulations. Thank you.